Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. I really love uh, in my free time to essentially read articles and blogs and, and problems that people have been facing. And read, reading more about it uh, uh, makes me understand why we shouldn't do it this way. Some of the best practices. So uh, you might know on my channel, I have a lot of tutorials essentially on Elasticsearch. Well, I did not master it in one day. It took me years. I have been reading, I have been learning, I have been crying, you know, that's how you learn. So join me in some of my tut tutorials to just read some blogs and understand some of the things. Today, I would like to read one of the blogs that says disadvantages of using nested type over a flat type, flat type mapping. So essentially Elasticsearch, when you have array of documents and you wa wanna, you know, index that, is it a good idea to do that or should we do a flat mapping uh, approach? What's what's the catch up in terms of response time, data integrity, transformation, uh, data layout and querying data? Let's read some of the answers that people have answered and see what they say. Uh, uh, this guy says, as per my knowledge, nested type mapping has more impact in terms of indexing over that over the flat types mapping since lucene does not have any concept of nested object types and everything is stored as a flat object so there is an additional uh, so there is an additional operation performance um, at indexing time es works best at the flat documents for more details please refer to the following links okay so this itself tell me that please try to use more but this guy gave even more better answer actually and let's start to read it when you update a nested documents, all, part, uh, all parts are updated and made available for search at the same time, which seems to be what you are looking for. At each nested document is represented by a separate document behind the scenes. And all of these are re-indexed for every change of the document. You pay a significant performance penalty at index time. So I understood one thing. Uh, it's good to have nested, I mean, in terms of data, but you will pay penalty in terms of performance, right, at index time. Because each document in an array has to be indexed at Elasticsearch, which is, uh, as you can see, this guy is clearly saying that. As an example, let us assume that we have a large nested document that translates to thousand internal documents um, and um, compare this to a flat data model where we have indexed the thousand parts as independent documents. If we add a single nested document at the deepest nested level, this would add a single flat document while the nested document would end up re-indexing 1001 documents. If you, on the other hand, change something at the root of all the document needs to be updated in both the cases. So pretty much amazing answer this guy said, why we should not, or depends on situation, how, how much nesting do you have, right? It totally depends. Um, um, then he says, this means that large nested documents are well suited for use cases with few and infrequent modification. That's a great that he mentioned. If you, the data is not has to be modified, then it's good. If it has to be modified, shouldn't be using. Another disadvantage I believe is that nested document also results in higher heap usage, more memory. Okay. That's something interesting, man. Uh, so those are all the answer on this topic. We'll be reading more and more on Elasticsearch. Uh, you know, uh, increasing our knowledge on, on, on the topic. Remember, the best way to learn is to read people articles, blogs, and, and you know, try to answer them if you know. I, I usually try to answer a lot of questions, um, uh, you know. Um, so, you know, I try to help people on Elasticsearch. And I also made a library on GitHub. Uh, uh, this guy, I think uh, I also, um, oh, this one. So he, he asked me a question here. You know, people open up issues and I try to solve them. It's, it's fun, right? It's really fun. As I said, this is a learning process. It's a journey, not a one day process. Hope you have enjoyed uh, reading this article. I would leave the links of this article in the description section below because I really liked um, because that article covered every single thing about nested documents. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video.